Hello again everyone, welcome back. Today I'm reviewing a cigar that was actually suggested to me to review by one of you. So I am. This is the San Cristobal Revelation and this size is the Triumph 7 by 50 It is box pressed. There is the density. It is a very nice looking medium brown wrapper. This cigar uses an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper and Nicaraguan binder and filler. Of course, this is from uh, the Ash under the Ashton umbrella of cigars, made in the My Father factory in Esteli. Uh, just a nice looking cigar. Love the bands. If 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 you're a fan of decorative bands, this is one of them you will like. So, this cigar is fairly new, came out last year, introduced in, uh, introduced in the IPCPR in Las Vegas. So, let's get right to it. The new, fairly new, San Cristobal Revelation Triumph. Alright, let's get the cap a little cut. Good draw. Just a tad of firmness. Just minute amount. Very good draw. Some nice citrus notes to begin with. A little dry wood. What I would describe as a white pepper at about a seven and a half. Just a touch of nutmeg at the start. So that's how we'll begin. Let's see where we go from here. Well, I guess I'm about three fourths of an inch in. The uh, clock is about a minute, minute and a half behind or it's about a minute minute and a half short i actually started it a little bit late but we'll be close enough now your flavors are about like i described before the citrus and nutmeg is just about a 50 50 split you can really get equal amounts of both and i'm going to revise the dry wood to a roasted nut it is a roasted nut flavor at this point, I wouldn't call the cigar more than medium bodied. They are touted as full bodied. I want to see if it gets there. But to me, it's medium bodied and it is burning very nice and even. Just take your time with it. But uh, that's where we've settled down at about the three fourths of an inch. Well, not much further down. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, about two inches in and it's sort of different from the last report I'm getting a flavor now the sweetness is reminiscent to me of an applesauce now I am sure it's still a citrusy flavor which you could can you could almost put apples in that genre but uh, the, the key point here is you have that sweetness, but it is now overshadowed by the nutmeg and the uh, roasted nuts. You really, as before, the sweet flavors were in balance. They are not anymore. The uh, nutmeg and roasted nuts have a little bit of a lead over the sweeter flavor of the citrus or, dare I say, the applesauce type flavor. The cigar to me is still medium bodied. It may be moving a little closer to medium to full, but uh, we're slowly getting there at best. So that's where we are. Well, I'm right around the midpoint and everything's going fine. The, uh, the sweet flavor I'm going to now officially call an apple-like flavor. 
It's very reminiscent of applesauce, apples, what have you. The flavors now are very close to balanced again. Uh, the nutmeg, apple sauce, and roasted nuts. You get them all in equal amounts. Now, so now there's been the emergence of a, of a little bit of a leathery tone. So the roasted nuts and the leather are your lower end flavors, we'll call it. The cigar is now very close to medium to full body. I'll go with that for now. We'll see if it goes any higher. Um, we didn't speak about the finish until now. We will now. How about that? It's sort of a on the par of the toasted cream I talk about a lot. That toastiness has a lot of the uh, aspects of those roasted nuts. There is a little lingering white pepper, not a lot, not a lot. So it's, a, <clears throat> it's going along nicely. The pepper on the front end is about the same as it was when we started, but uh, that's your report at about the midpoint. Well, we're, we are well into the final third, not very far from the end, a couple inches. And I would say that the uh, cigar has made some changes. The um, apple-ish notes are still there, still have nice sweetness. The roasted nuts and the underlying leather have really made a jump forward. They are very close to the lead flavor with these uh, sweeter flavors secondary. Now the nutmeg, I can't detect it anymore. It has gradually faded away and it's gone. I'll stick with medium to full bodied. Actually it is moving toward full body, but it's taking it's taken the whole cigar or the whole cigar minus that to get here. Finish is unchanged. So that's it. So you've lost a nutmeg and you've really got a dominance of the lower end flavors of the roasted nuts. down to the end so let's wrap it up the dominance of the lower end flavors continue the uh, roasted nuts and the leather are very light leather now not not, not, a, not an overpowering leather but they are quite dominant here at the end with the sweeter flavors taking a second seat the cigar oddly enough did reach full body in the last segment I said it was getting close or moving that way it it is full body, but it takes three fourths of the cigar to get there. So keep that in mind. It starts out medium and gradually goes over to full body. I found this to be a very good cigar. It's uh, different for the others from the other San Cristobal's I've had. Um, keep in mind it is heavy on the lower end flavors of the nuts and the leather, and, and uh, the sweeter flavors are going to wind up taking a secondary roll, but still very good. These are, should be available on shelves anywhere that carries the San Cristobal line. So look for them in shops. For me, I'm giving it a 91. Very good cigar that I uh, would smoke again. Actually, I have, uh, I purchased several for this uh, review and I've enjoyed all of them. So there you have it, the San Cristobal Revelation Triumph.